All right, everyone. So it is uh, Thursday afternoon, and I made some uh, white cupcakes. Again, I've shown this in the past, but um, this box of white cake mix, I used only half of it. And this is uh, for those of you that are new. Um, with just being Glenn and I, we don't eat a whole cake. So I just used half of it and made some cupcakes. It made 10 cupcakes. And I just cut the ingredients in half. So I used the ingredients with the egg white recipe. So I only used two egg whites and then cut the oil and water in half. That way I have this other cake, half of the cake mix for like a jello poke cake or something. And when I do that, I just do it in like an eight by eight and that's enough for us. So, so yeah, that's what I do. And then I made my uh, chocolate frosting and I actually only did half of the ingredients for that too so instead of a whole stick of butter I only used a uh, half a stick of butter and cut all the other ingredients in half as well so so yeah we're almost gonna wrap up this video uh, basically a week of meals starting from Monday Sunday or Monday I don't know when I started to Thursday but tonight we're just gonna eat the leftover chili so I don't think I need to record that again but I will tell you that chili was um, delicious the one I made for myself Glenn thought his was good as well but the one I made for myself I think that's a good recipe for it so I didn't have the noodles I had the kidney beans and he had the noodles and no beans so so yeah, and it, I tried those townhouse crackers with some shredded cheese on top, and it was really good. So we're just going to have that for leftovers tonight. But right now I'm just going to have some white uh, cupcakes with chocolate frosting. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new day. It is Friday morning, and I am getting, or just prepping everything to get our slow cooker pot roast going. So I am going to sear the roast in flour and then make a little roux out of the little crumb crumbs that come after that I have some flour here and I'm just gonna throw some seasonings in there I'm actually gonna go real light on the seasoned salt because in the uh, slow cooker itself I'm gonna put a pack of this onion soup mix and I don't know how salty it is so and then yeah so <laughs> go light on the seasoning for the seasoned salt, you can always add, but you can't take it away. Uh, I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm going to throw a little bit of, oops, <laughs> not the whole thing, a little bit of garlic powder. And some onion powder. We got this onion powder it's a 22 ounce um, little jug of onion powder we got it off Amazon for like seven dollars um, that was the best deal I could find um, comparing to how many ounces you get for whatever price at Walmart and other stores and uh, yeah just trying to get and it actually if you taste it just like that it really does have an onion taste to it so, and it's really fine versus onion powder um, that you might find in the store, but it's like a really fine powder. So, I'm going to throw that in there, even though we are putting actual onions in the roast and using the onion mix. So, I'm just going to whisk this all together. Hope everybody's having a good week as we come to another weekend. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I have a cookie sheet here with tin foil. I'm going to throw the flour in here so I could coat the uh, chuck roast. We're using a chuck roast. Just trying to minimize my cleanup as much as possible. All right, so I'm going to grab the roast. We're going to coat it. And then I've got some 
olive oil heating on the stove. All right. So this is a very well marbled chuck roast. So I'm going to just coat it up. Now it's been a while since I actually seared a roast before I cooked it. Um, I tend to just wait to the last minute and run out of time. So I definitely want to sear this up because with the flour on it, I know a lot of people don't put flour on it when they sear it, but the flour is going to cause some thickening in the gravy or the roux. So... All right, I'm just going to wait for that uh, olive oil to heat up really good, and then we're going to get this seared up. All right, everyone, so we got one side of the roast brown, and as soon as the other side's done, I'm going to uh, put it on the sides because so, I want the sides browned as well. So we've got some nice browning going on there. And as soon as it's done browning, I'll get it in the slow cooker. But what's left in here, I'll throw a little bit of uh, beef broth in there. And maybe add a little bit more flour and stir it up, whisk it up to a little roux. And throw it in the slow cooker with it. So that way we're using all the flavors. Alright everyone, so I got this little uh, roux going. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the slow cooker as well before it gets burned up. Okay, I'm just trying to scrape off everything off the pan where I seared the, the roast. Alright. So I'm going to throw a pack of this uh, onion soup mix. And I'm going to throw in the rest of this beef broth. And now I'm going to throw in the potatoes, carrots, and onions. So we didn't have many carrots left. We had the uh, half a pack of baby carrots. And I just cut them in half. But what I'll do later is add a can of canned carrots and that way we have a, a good amount of carrots in there as well so i'm going to get the onions now that's about three onions that i cut up all right so now we're just going to let this uh go i've already had it on low with a little bit of beef broth at the bottom so we're going to let it slow cook and yeah, we'll just wait for it to get done. It should be done in about eight hours or so. So it should be good. All right, everyone. So we are ready to eat this uh, slow cooker pot roast. I'm going to cut some of this bread that we actually got at the pantry yesterday. So I'm going to cut some slices and put some butter on it and maybe dip it in our juice or something. So... I tasted the roast earlier and that meat is so tender. I added a can of carrots um, because we didn't have that much carrots in there. But yeah, it's uh, it's ready to go. It's been uh, cooking for six, seven hours now on low. All right. Gypsy's right here below me. <laughs> she she always uh, sits either below you when you're eating or stands here at the counter in case anything falls that she might be able to pick up. So, <laughs> all right. I think I'll, uh, and maybe I'll do two, two pieces each. It's pretty soft bread inside. 
All right, I'm going to get these buttered up uh, just so you can see what they look like. So, yeah, pretty soft. I'm going to get them buttered up and then uh, get us plated up. All right, everyone, so uh, just so you see what the roast looks like, slow cooker pot roast. And this meat actually is just tearing apart. So I'm going to go ahead and serve us in the bowls, and I'll be back. All right, you can see the meat here. Oh, it's so good. All right, everyone, so here is our slow cooker pot roast with our uh, butter bread from the pantry yesterday. So it looks delicious. It smells good. So we're going to sit and enjoy this supper and stay tuned for the next weekend meal.